Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm doing a special series on travel because I'm traveling soon. So I wanted to share all my tips with you on surviving the airport, surviving travel day, and surviving your trip. So I'm going to split it up into several videos, but the first one, this one, is about surviving the airport while natural. Because I know it can be a big pain in the you know what. <laughs> I know it can be a big pain. <laughs> so my first tip is don't try to wash your hair hours before or that same day or like wash day is enough of a trial. You don't need to have wash day and try to get to the airport. So I know you want to have fresh hair but at least do it a day before or you know at least do it like six hours before because I can't even imagine the stress of having a wash day run late and you need to go, you need to get ready, you know. And in a similar vein, you know you have to get ready for the airport, you know you budget how much time you need, budget some extra hair time, trust me. Because if you're having a bad hair day, you don't want to be sunk because of that and you don't want to end up late or miss your flight because of that. And I haven't done this for like flights, but often I'm going out, and I, especially in the morning because I'm not a morning person, so I have to meet somebody at like 7 or something ridiculous and I'm like, well, I'll just do my hair in 5 minutes. <laughs> you know, you know that man, you can't do your hair in 5 minutes, so don't even pretend that you can do your hair in 5 minutes. And if you usually do your hair in 15 minutes, you better give yourself 30 minutes. Okay, that's exaggeration, but give yourself some extra time just in case you're having a bad hair day. Which brings us to airport hair days um, and the style you wear, because the style you wear is very important, unfortunately, as a natural, since we are still discriminated against. Um, you know, as long as it's not affecting certain people they don't care so if you go to the airport and you have like big hair they're going to be sticking their hands on it for no reason so you know and a lot of people are going to be like la 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 don't even try it because i've seen so many big haired people of other races walk past happily while they stop the black person because you know so Anyhow, I don't want to get mad and I don't want to start ranting. The main thing is, if you want to avoid the man um, when screening, the easiest thing to do is like to pull your hair back into a bun or at least like a ponytail or pigtails or something like that. So, you know, when you're getting ready, you can keep that in mind. Definitely avoid bobby pins and anything with metal. You don't want to sell out the metal detectors. So nothing with metal in your hair. Um, like if you have braids and you have like you know a whole bunch of body pins and stuff in, you might even wanna, depending on how big your hairstyle is or whether they can see your scalp, you might even wanna take them out. You might wanna take them out anyway, just to avoid problems in screening. So no metal, flatten your hair if you wanna give in to the man. If you are gonna just do you, um, and they try to screen you, make sure you ask them to get a new pair of gloves. Um, and just read up the read up your rights beforehand because I know things can escalate. I know people can get into all sorts of things, you know. So be familiar, be aware, and know what your rights are, and make sure they use the clean gloves. And I think you can safely give them the stink eye. <laughs> you can safely at least be like, yeah, exercise your right to stink eye. Anyway, exercise your right to stink eye. <laughs> okay. Another thing you have to be careful about just in general, as you always do, as I always do, is touchers. Like people who just want to come up and touch your hair. So stay alert for them. I know you're tired. I know you probably didn't sleep last night. You packed this morning. You rushed and you just want to conk out. But you know, stay alert for touches if you don't like people touching your hair because they'll try it. You know. So especially a crowded airport, especially if you're just sitting down in your seat or a seat somewhere or you know, just keep your back to, <laughs> keep your back to a wall. I don't know, but stay alert for them if you don't like it because it's so annoying and it can happen multiple times like if you're in an airport. Another thing that's important is like having a scrunchie or having a satin scarf or even having a bonnet if you're a boss for like when you're actually on the plane because you know you want to protect your hair. A lot of times a seat may be 
leather-ish or it may not be so just in case you want to have some kind of satin scarf or something and to avoid frizzing up your hair or wrecking your style maybe you might want to have a scrunchie and do a quick pineapple so like I said scrunchies satin scarves or bonnets are great to just have for when you're on the plane and another thing about being on the plane it tends to be pretty dry so if you usually style with glycerin you might want to keep that in mind you know your hair can actually dry out a lot on the plane if you have a lot of glycerin in your hair and it's a long ride so I can't say I really avoid glycerin on, in my hair since it's just like one day I tend to moisturize extra but I am always conscious of that so another thing that can happen on the plane be careful of windows they can be actually very hot I think I fell asleep once and almost gave myself heat damage I was like nervous about it because you know the window seat the window got really hot and I was leaning on it so it can be hot it can be drippy dripping lord knows what into your hair so I guess pay attention for like all these random things that could happen another tip is carry a spray bottle I know you can also just wet your hands and like you know touch it up after like you get off the plane and it's all squished but if you have a spray bottle it's even better right to just like spray it up and help refresh it um, if you have a little leave-in and oil in your spray bottle well so much the better right and talking about leave-ins um, I always endorse like just getting travel size like little lotion bottles because I don't see the point paying big money for travel size version of products when you can just get travel size bottles and pour any product you want into them maybe some travel size um, bottles would be a good idea to get like you can get like a set of you know three or whatever depending on the size um, and some of them even come with a cute little case and stuff for them so convenient and safe from spillage and stuff like that so yeah and this is going to be a tip in my next video as well but talking about spillage be careful when you're carrying things especially like liquids like leave-ins and stuff you probably can't carry much in your carry-on but it can still spill so make sure you wrap it extra tight make sure you maybe put a, like a layer of plastic under it to help seal it put it in a plastic bag and seal that plastic bag maybe double it so this is like after you get through security I guess because they're gonna probably dig up in it but after you get through security make sure everything is sealed really tight and make sure you don't have any spills into the rest of your carry-on because that would be really annoying right first losing whatever good leaving you have and second like messing up lord knows what in there because you know maybe your electronics and stuff like that yeah so i guess that's about it wash your hair early you don't want to interrupt your packing time when you're getting there time give yourself extra time to pack try to go with flat hairstyles or ask them to put on new gloves if they're gonna search your hair watch out for touchers the plane can get dry your hair can get smushed your hair can rub against a dry seat so you want to take precautions against all of that and when you get off the plane you know go to the bathroom spritz it if you have your spray bottle or just like wet your hands and fluff in and just leave step out there like a box because that's what i do so i hope you had fun watching this and i hope it was informative um i hope it helps you with your travel plans hope it helps you with airport day because i hate airport day and that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next episode of my travel series bye